Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how you could possibly improve your network speed in Windows 10 using a little known thing called IRP stack size, which is the IO request packet stack size. There's some confusion about this. Let me clarify a little bit of it. If you're looking to improve your internet, you're in the wrong place. This is transferring files on a network. Certainly not my hugest area of expertise, but it doesn't help that there's not a lot of information out there about this. What we do know is that it refers to how many 36 byte receive buffers your computer can use simultaneously. So the theory here is if you up the number, you can transfer more buffers simultaneously and hence make it faster on a network. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, why would you do this? There's a couple of reasons. Maybe your network is a little slow and you think you can improve it, but these two error messages right here, and you can find a link to this article with the I or in the video description. These two error messages are two of the ones that commonly appear where you may want to make the changes. So now that you know that, let me show you how to do it. And by the way, before I do, if you're here for internet problems, scroll to the bottom of the article, improve your wireless network performance, a really good article I wrote. I'm very proud of that one. Auto tuning could be important and some other stuff like how to flush and reset your settings to improve your internet connection. All right, let's open regedit, Windows key plus R, R E G E D I T. And this goes all the way back to, I think, Windows XP. But you're more than likely going to find the D word we're looking for if you're running Windows Server, for example. Probably not on Home or Pro, but it varies. So let's paste that in, this right here. Let's paste that there and press Enter. And here we are. So what we're looking for is IRP stack size over here. If you don't see it, grab this, copy, and let's right click while you're at the parameters folder. Right click on the right side, new D word, 32 bit value, control V or type in IRP stack size, try and get those caps correct if you're typing it. Now we want to change the value data. So we're going to pause here because you need to understand what you can do with the value data. So by default, if you already had the key, it's probably in the 15 to 20 range. It's changed over the years. Microsoft says the maximum number you can put in here is 50. And what we're actually going to do is double click the IRP stack size. We're going to change the value data. That's what we're referring to. But they also say 33 to 38 can cause stability issues, which you really don't want when you're transferring files on your network. So because of that, we try 30, 31, or 32. Me, I'm going to err on the side of caution because we know when we get towards 33, we could have problems. Let's change it because we're probably at 15, 20. 30 would be a pretty large leap. So why go too far out of your way? And as you can see, you'll notice it says 30 right here. So you can confirm that your value data is correct at 30 and reboot now once again you should know how to back up your registry in case there's a problem i have seen some people who use the 31 32 number who had things break when they did so which is another reason why i'm going to use 30. so what you can do is you know the irp stack size is here now before you made the changes while clicking on parameters do file export and name it whatever That will allow you, let me show you real quick. Where did I put it? Documents. Can I open with notepad here? Yes. So as you can see, it's going to restore. Everything you see right here would restore everything here. But before you do the IRP stack size, that way you can easily just take the file later. If you have a problem, boot into safe mode, for example, and you can double click that and you can restore the registry right where you left off so there's no harm so once again just keep in mind for the most part if you go ahead and google knock yourself out irp stack size google that and you'll see you'll find a lot of people saying hey do this right here go to this key make these changes but they don't nobody spends any time explaining why so it's very go ahead and look it up you'll see what i mean it's very hard to find much information so again i wouldn't play with this unless you're having problems on your network swapping files between computers or more importantly as I mentioned earlier I just want to clarify if you're getting errors while you're copying files not enough memory not enough storage blah 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 
So there you have it. There's how to improve network speed in Windows 10 using IRP stack size. Bottom right corner, you can click subscribe. Click like if we helped you out. Thanks for watching. As always, see ya.